Okay, so this is actually the first video where I'll actually actually say something. Before I just decided to quickly show something just because I needed to throw something up on the YouTube, but now that I have an estimated time of when I think I'll be able to start the creation of the Battle Royale game, I think it's about two months from now I might have something out but I'm gonna try to get something out by October by mid, by the end or mid of mid October but if not that'll have to be in November which would be ironic because that's when I released seditionist tower defense last year so eh, something poetic about that so I've been going through more of the tutorial and my god it is very complicated to get every nook and cranny and like this is actually the blueprints for pretty much keeping track of variables are you sprinting are you jumping are you firing your weapon and then this just plays like the animations like this is how it's surprisingly complicated and then I had to go do stuff like this which doesn't even work but, you know, the tutorial I'm following, the course, uh, he, he actually got frustrated too. And I had to duplicate the same thing over here in the third person. But the good news is I'm actually understanding now, you know, how multiplayer works in Unreal. And it's actually a lot easier than I thought. It's still complicated, but if you do it enough times, then it makes sense. So, I don't want to go through all the extra crap that we made, but let's see. I don't even remember what I... Put up in the last video but I think I remember I had the sprinting I had this and then we also added I mean this this pistol really should it should be on the sidearm of your leg but but we have that we also have recoil so you can see on the third person you can also see in the first person and we have weapon switching weapon switching animation we don't have an animation for firing a pistol yet. The, guy, the court hasn't gone over that yet. But basically, it's working like it should. Okay, switch. Switch. So it's just like the real game. It's like it's pretty awesome. Hopefully, this isn't killing your ears. And then. There's a little weird bug where it would. Oh, it still kind of does it. Like it's yeah, you can see it a little bit. I have to eventually look into that, but to project this thing actually fires a projectile. So it actually just stays very briefly on something. Let's see, and then we just had it's a little hard to see on the other screen. Well the animation and jumping and running and sprinting jumping works. And then you have to have like a different animation if you're holding a different weapon. And of course, we don't have any logic yet for player death, so that's why we just simply have the guy disappear. So, but that'll come later. But that's pretty much, you know, the progress on this course. And I think we're only like 33% of the way through. I'm going to try to get through like two videos a day, and there's like 30, well, no, there's 28, no, 27. There's like 27 videos left, so... It's going to take like an hour of 15, 16 days. A lot of work. A lot of work. But, you know, I definitely I definitely see where this can go. And then eventually we'll definitely... Well, I, de I definitely am seeing a need to hire somebody who knows how to do animation rigging and model design. But specifically animations because this thing is actually very irritating. You know, but, you know, it's doable. All right. So, I don't know, I'll post another video when we've gone through some more video, uh, I don't know, maybe another five, six, or whatever, whatever we feel like is a lot of progress.